Hello friends, today I will discuss about current transformer burden calculation and how the CT accuracy limit factor uh, depend on the burden of the CT. A CT with three number of core has been shown in this figure. Core one uh, is a metering core and it, it is uh, taken to the all the meter that is the detail meter, uh, megawatt meter, ammeter and other meters and core two are, and core 3 are the protection core. Normally, uh, core 2 is taken for the main protection. If it is a feeder protection, then the main protection is the distance protection. And if it, if it is a uh, transformer protection, then main protection is the differential protection. And core 3 is the backup protection. Backup protection, that means if it is a transformer, then backup over current and earth fault protection is taken. And if it is a uh, feeder, then and directional overcurrent and earth fault protection is taken from the core 3. So protection class of CT are generally two types. One is the class P CT and another is PS or PS class uh, CT. And uh, class P CT it is defined by the accuracy limit factor. For example, uh, that is 5P10. 5P10 uh, that is the 5 is uh, uh, defined by the accuracy and uh, 10 is the accuracy limit of the uh, CT that is uh, if 10 times of the rated current uh, flow in the primary size of the CT then there will be maximum error of 5 percent in case of 5P10 CT. Again for 5P20 class CT if 20 times current uh, flows in the primary side then the maximum error will be 5. And again another type of CT is the class P or PX class CT. It is defined by the knee point voltage of the CT. In case of protection class CT such as uh, 5 feet 10, the 5 is the accuracy class and 10 is the accuracy limit factor. That is the maximum uh, accuracy primary limit current uh, under rated burden uh, in the secondary side of the CT. So what is the rated burden of the secondary side? It is defined at the name plate of the CT. For example, if uh, the rated burden is 20 VA and uh, the 20 VA that is the rated burden is connected in the secondary side uh, of the CT, then under a rated current, uh, uh, the burden will be 20 VA in the secondary side of the CT. So under this condition, the accuracy limit factor is 10 and error uh, is limited with 5%. So the accuracy limit factor uh, also depends on the burden uh, which is connected in the city secondary side of the city. In factories, uh, the actual accuracy limit factor uh, that is the FA will differ from the rated accuracy limit factor as uh, defined in the nameplate of the city and it is proportional to the ratio of the rated uh, city burden and uh, to the actual city burden. Uh, so let us first uh, calculate about the calculation of the CT burden then uh, we will sh uh, show that uh, how the CT burden uh, is dependent on the accuracy limit of the protection class CT. So in the CT secondary side we have the CT secondary coil resistance uh, and we have uh, the cable which is connected from the CT secondary side to the CRP panel and we have uh, relay burden. Uh, RCT is the uh, CT secondary resistance which is given in the nameplate and R cable normally copper cable is connected in the secondary side of the CT to the control uh, panel that is the R cable uh, denoted by R cable and, uh, and the relay burden. Relay burden is normally a maximum of 1 VA. So this is the CT secondary burden. So the known quantity in the CT burden is uh, RCT which is given in the nameplate and known quantity is the VA burden of the uh, relay and unknown quantity is the uh, resistance of the uh, cable which is connected from the CT to the CRP panel. So the resistance of the cable uh, normally copper uh, cable is uh, used with different cross section area. Uh, it may be a 2.5 uh, square mm or it may be a 4 square, square mm uh, copper cable. So the formula for uh, from which the resistance of the cable can be uh, calculated is R is equal to rho into L by A. 
rho is the resistivity of the conductor material given at uh, typically at 20 degree centigrade and l is the length of the conductor and a is the cross section area of the conductor so typical uh, value of the uh, resistivity of the copper uh, conductor at 20 degree and 75 degree centigrade has been shown in this figure for 20 degree centigrade the resistivity of the copper conductor is 0 0.0178 micro ohm meter again for uh, 75 degree centigrade the resistivity of copper conductor is 0 0.0216 micro ohm meter uh, the temperature coefficient that is the alpha uh, is uh, 0 0.0039 uh, 1 by k k is the kelvin temperature is expressed in kelvin so from this we can calculate uh, the resistance at uh, 75 degree temperature so normally the resistance of the copper cable is determined uh, for burden calculation at uh, 75 degree centigrade so the formula for, from which uh, the resistance at uh, uh, another temperature can be calculated uh, by given by R2 is equal to R1 into 1 plus alpha into T2 minus T1. Here R1 is the resistance at uh, temperature T1 and alpha is the temperature coefficient of the conductor material. In case of copper it is uh, 0 0.0039 as per above table. And T1 and T2 is the temperature expressed in Kelvin. So we can get the value of the resistance at uh, 75 degree centigrade. Uh, normally at 75 degree centigrade uh, the value of the copper uh, conductor for 2.5 square mm is 0 0.00865 ohm per meter. Again for 4 square mm uh, copper conductor it is uh, given as 0 0.00541 uh, ohm per meter again for 6 square mm it is 0 0.00306 uh, 360 ohm per meter so you can see for changing of the cross section area the resistance of the copper conductor is changes so there are two types of city connection one is uh, 6 wire and another is 4 wire uh, for 6 wire uh, normally for, from the two side of the city secondary, uh, the cable is taken uh, from the city secondary to the control and relay panel. So six wire is uh, required. Again, for the four wire, uh, the city start point is done in the city JV, and four uh, three wire is taken for the three phases, and one uh, wire that is the neutral is taken uh, for the uh, CRP panel. So here, uh, requirement of the cable or wire is four. So let us take uh, the example for 100 meter long cable which is laid uh, between CT and CRP panel and we will calculate the value of the resistance uh, for this 100 meter uh, long cable. Since 100 meter uh, long cable is used then for 6 wire uh, the uh, cable uh, length will be 2 into 100 that is the 200 meter. Again for Moreover, it is calculated as uh, 1.2 into cable length. Here, cable length is 100, so 120 meter of the cable length resistance to be calculated. Uh, now, let us consider the RCT, that is the secondary of the uh, CT coil resistance is 4 ohm. And length of the cable which is connected uh, from the CT to the uh, CRP panel is 200 meter, and V burden of the relay is. 1 VA. So, CT rating uh, for accuracy class is 5P20 and rated burden is 20 as per nameplate. So, let, let us consider that is a 2.5 square mm copper cable is taken from the CT to CRP panel. So, uh, the resistance of the cable uh, since it is a 4 cable is taken or it is a 4 wire system it can be uh, calculated uh, as 1.2 into 200 meter, 200 is the length of the cable into the uh, resistance of the uh, cable at 75 degree centigrade for 2.5 square mm cable which is given as 0 0.00865. So our cable is equal to 2.076 ohm. So total burden of the CT in VA at rated current, here rated current is the 1 ampere current considering it the city secondary current is 1 ampere 
can be calculated as uh, 1 square into RCT plus 1 square into R cable plus relay burden which comes at uh, 7.076 BA. Now the rated burden of the CT is known and the calculation CT burden is uh, known. So we can calculate the accuracy limit factor uh, that is in, act in actual case uh, from the uh, formula which is given by FA is equal to FN into SIN plus SN divided by SIN plus SA. Here Fn is the rated accuracy limit factor which is given at the nameplate. Here in case uh, it is 20 VA, then Sin is the internal burden of the CT secondary coil which is given as the 4 uh, in case of the uh, rated current 1 ampere and Sn is the rated burden of the CT which is given as 20 VA and Sa is the actual burden of the CT which is uh, calculated. Since RCT is known, we can calculate the value of the SI, SIN. SIN is the internal burden of the CT, which is 4 into 1 square. Uh, 1 is the rated current of the CT secondary side, which is 4 VA. And FN, uh, FN is the actual ac uh, accuracy uh, limit of the CT, which is given in the nameplate. So it is a 5P20, so uh, accuracy limit is uh, 20. And SN, SN is the rated uh, VA as per given nameplate. Uh, here SN is equal to 20 VA. So in case of uh, 200 meter cable, the SIN plus SA uh, which uh, already comes as per uh, earlier calculation is 7.076 as per rated current that is 1 ampere CT secondary current. So we can calculate the actual accuracy limit uh, that is FA is equal to 20 into 4 plus 20 divided by 7.076 which comes at 67.83 times. Again another formula for uh, calculation of the actual accuracy limit factor uh, from the saturation voltage. First we have to calculate the saturation voltage. So saturation voltage can be calculated that is U saturation is equal to Fn into In into RIN plus uh, RN where RIN is the internal resistance of the CT secondary coil which is 4 ohm, RN is the rated burden of the CT which is 20 VA and Fn is the uh, accuracy limit and IN is the uh, current uh, rated current in the CT secondary side. So uh, here I, uh, here uh, the saturation voltage U saturation can be calculated from the uh, above data which is 20 into 1 into 4 plus 20 which is 480 volt. Now for actual accuracy limit uh, factor which can be calculated by the formula given as Fa is equal to U saturation divided by IN into RIN plus RA actual that is the actual resistance which is connected uh, in the CT secondary site. So uh, we have calculated the value of the U saturation which is given as 480 and the RA that is the actual uh, CT uh, resistance which is connected in the CT secondary site is 3.076. Uh, 2.076 is the resistance of the copper cable and uh, 1 ohm is the resistance of the uh, relay uh, considering on VA burden and 4 ohm is the uh, CT internal resistance. So we can get the actual uh, accuracy limit as 67.83. So we can see that uh, the rated burden uh, since the accuracy limit uh, which is given as per nameplate is 20 but uh, since the uh, burden is uh, differ from the rated burden we can get higher accuracy limit for that uh, type of CT. So friends, if you like my video, then do subscribe my channel and also press bell button uh, for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching my video.